Ranger Dolan. From okay, hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Tom Burns, and I'm here to do a, a creepy video here called 15. Um, 15 mysteries unsolved or something. The top 15 mysteries unsolved. It's something along those lines. It. This is probably gonna fuck fuck me up because I've watched a couple of these videos um, on other people's channels, and the mysteries they're they're so fucked up. No wonder they're on fucking solved because no one's gonna want to fucking solve them because they're too creepy. So I can understand. Anyway, this is it. Thank you, and enjoy. Hieroglyphs indecipherable even today to stories of hikers found dead in unexplainable positions. We count 15 mysteries that have yet to be solved or even understood. Number 15. The Voynich Manuscript, a book created in the early 1400s that is almost entirely composed of a language never before seen and never deciphered since. It comes with an array of colourful drawings of strange plant-like creatures and celestial diagrams, but the contents remain elusive with some theorising it might have been a book on early medieval medicine. However, due to the amount of star charts, some propose the book to have alien origins, whereas others believe it was a hoax, which seems unlikely since the money and complexity required to create this thing would have been unbelievably high. You can find the pages floating around on the internet, but so far far nobody has had any luck. Number 14. Green Children, a pair of brother and sister that oh, appeared in the UK around the 12th century in which they turned up in a small village with completely green skin, speaking an indecipherable language and refusing to eat anything but bean pods. After a while, they learned English and their skin lost its green tinge, claiming they'd followed a river of light, heard the sound of bells, and then woke up outside the town of Woolpit with green skin. Theories claim the children to be of the fabled hollow earth a parallel dimension or they might have been part of extraterrestrial abduction number 13 rongo rongo an island off the southeastern pacific ocean housing the rapa nui people who lived over a thousand miles from society with no influence whatsoever from them they carved a number of these large moa head sculptures but they also left behind a series of wooden glyph tablets with an indecipherable language because of their isolation it is known to be one of the only in independently formed written languages ever witnessed. The Easter Island mysteries are numerous and these are just a couple of examples. We still can't figure out what's written on their tablets. Number 12. Dyatlov Pass. This is a Russian story from a mountain known to the locals as Dead Mountain in which 10 people attempted to scale it using a dangerous route. They'd taken a wrong turn and wound up lost and when a search team went out to look for them, all that turned up were broken tents filled with supplies. Campers that had apparently cut through their tent from the inside and bolted into the night. The search came across a few bodies, but for some reason they were only dressed in underwear and socks. One had even attempted to climb a tree. The rest were found in a ditch, wearing the clothes from the other bodies. Fractured skulls, and one even had a missing tongue for some reason. Nobody could ever explain what happened here. Number 11. The Immortal Count. A man that kept showing up in history, known to consort with some of Europe's most famous figures like Casanova, Voltaire, King Louis XV, and George Washington. Some say the Count was born in the early 1700s, always turning up to set up an alchemy laboratory. And he could speak 12 languages, he could play the violin, he could paint, he had great wealth, he never ate in public, and usually sold recipes to remove wrinkles or dye hair. He keeps cropping up in this 300 year gap, and he's even been seen in the 21st century, always associated with secret societies like the Freemasons and Illuminati. It's certainly possible mankind might have discovered the key to immortality, and even likely they would keep this secret to themselves, simply not to incite chaos. Number 10. Beale Ciphers, a series of three cipher texts that are rumoured to reveal the location of the biggest cache
crushing treasures ever recorded in US history. Thousands of pounds of gold and jewels. To this day, only one of these ciphers were cracked, with the US Declaration of Independence turning out to be the key. But it only revealed the county where the treasure lay, that of Bedford County in Virginia. Today, treasure hunters dig through the various hillsides, although it is considered illegal to do so. Number 9. Vistos Disc. A famous puzzle in the field of archaeology, this disc was discovered in 1908 in the Minoan Palace of Phaistos. It's made of a type of fine clay printed with mysterious symbols and hieroglyphics, believed to have been created around 2nd millennium BC. Even though scholars came close to deciphering it, they believe it to be written in a form of ancient Crete called Linear A. But the problem is, they haven't even decoded Linear A. Number 8. Pollock Twins. A story from 1957 about supposed <laughs> reincarnation. Two girl sisters, 11 and 6 years old, killed in a car accident in England while their mother gave birth to twins the following year. One of the twins bore the exact same birthmarks as her deceased sister in exactly the same places, and it got spookier when the girls requested exactly the dead sister's toys, which they couldn't possibly have known about. They also asked to be taken to places they'd never even heard of, like a park the departed sisters had been to. Number 7. Alcatraz okay. Prisoners. 1963. The Alcatraz Federal Penitentiary of San Francisco. Guards checked into the cells of three inmates, Clarence, John, and Frank and everything seemed fine. Soon afterwards, though, the guards realized it wasn't men who were in their beds, but three dummies constructed from soap and toilet paper. The trio never turned up again. Their bodies weren't discovered, and nobody knows if they made it to the mainland and escaped. It's actually a huge mystery. Number 6. The Lost City of Atlantis. The fabled island city, a world power in the 10th millennium that vanished overnight. Plato mentioned it in his story that it attacked Athens, failed, and then was sunk very soon after. But he claims it stood in front of the Pillars of Hercules, and we haven't found much evidence of this supposed city in Earth's geography. Two places that could have been Atlantis, namely the island of Santorini, sunk by a volcano, and Sicily, which at the time was very similar to the description of the supposed Atlantis, but both of these places were nowhere near the pillars. Number 5. The Shagboro Inscription, an 18th century shepherd's monument located in Staffordshire, England, with a recreated sculpture of a famous painting known as Arcadian Shepherds. However, this painting contains the bizarre letters D-O-U-O-S-V-A-V-V-M, a code left by the Knights Templar, apparently unbreakable, which reveals the location of the Holy Grail. Some of the world's greatest minds have attempted to reveal the secret, but all failed, including Dickens and Charles Darwin. Number four, the WOW signal. 1977, a strong narrow band radio signal detected from outer space by Jerry R. Emmon working on the Big Ear Radio Telescope of Ohio. For 72 seconds, a signal was coming in, and Jerry, who had written down the details, was so excited that he actually wrote the words WOW on the same sheet of paper, which became the subject of heated media attention. If it did come from extraterrestrials in the Sagittarius cluster, the need to be highly advanced sending out a signal far more powerful than anything Earth has come up with. In 2012, we beamed back in the direction of the signal that it originated from 10,000 Twitter messages from just random-ass people. Number three... Sakata 3301, a puzzle that started in 2012 and has continued ever since. A scannable puzzle game that draws on cryptography, mathematics, literature, hidden messages, philosophy, and a host of other topics. The clues have sprung up in Poland, Hawaii, Spain, Australia, and Korea with the goal to find intelligent people with the hope of meeting those that solve all the puzzles. Many on the internet believe it's a recruitment tool for the CIA or some other top secret government organization or possibly to recruit for a global think tank. The last clue came up in January and will continue in January 2015. Number two, Georgia Guidestones, referred to as a modern Stonehenge located in Elbert County, Georgia. It's a series of stones engraved in eight different languages relaying ten new commandments for an age of reason. This 
stone doesn't contain any encrypted message, but the reason and origin for these stones is the mystery. Who built them and for what purpose? Some of the commandments are vague and somewhat sinister, including the first, which advises a human population of 500 million, leading some to feel it's permission to cull humanity. Conspiracy theorists believe it to be a message from a Luciferian secret society, a new world order. Number one, Jack the Ripper, the most famous serial killer ever. He who stalked the streets of London and murdered prostitutes in gruesome, horrible ways. His image was built up in folklore, misinformation, and media attention to such a degree that we may never know the full story, but we do know he did kill at least five women and was within seconds of getting caught. Letters were forwarded to the police in which Jack apparently taunts them and goes on about how he will keep killing, but these are believed to have been fakes, and Jack the Ripper was never caught. That's it for this countdown. Have a good one! I don't know what to say about that. That was, they weren't as fucked up as I thought they were going to be, but they weren't as fucked up as I, they weren't as fucked up as I thought they were going to be. But you know, they, they, I I don't blame people for not solving them fucking video, the fucking things because they, I think solving them would be a whole another fucked up load of shit. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. I know I didn't talk much through it, so it's not really a reaction video. Um, and I'll speak to you soon.